Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. How are you guys doing today? I am doing good. I am finally done and finished with everything that I needed and wanted to do today because it's Monday. A lot of things happening on Monday and I am finally here trying to catch last bits of this daylight to film this intro and outro of this video. So today I decided to try something very simple and something that I've never tried before simple typical balloon arch without a frame i usually make organic balloon garlands that involve some kind of command hook or you know frames and fabric today we're gonna use just balloons and fishing line or curling ribbon i haven't decided yet but it's gonna be very simple i'm excited to see what i'm gonna come up with and hopefully this video will be inspiring and easy and fun to watch all right everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video go ahead and check it out and without any further ado let's go here is what i chose for today's balloon arch all of the balloons that you see here 11 inch except these yellow ones i ran out out of 11 inch yellow balloons so these are 16 and i want to use yellow because without yellow it doesn't look all right so let's break this down what kind of colors i have here red caribbean blue coral spring green and yellow all of these balloons came from lauredale paper and balloon company if you're a new customer to that website you can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off at checkout. It's an affiliate code. It's totally up to you if you want to use it or not. They are still open for business. They are open for pickup or just order online and everything will be shipped to you. They have a huge selection of party supplies, balloons from different companies. I will link them down below. I am using my electric balloon pump fishing line or curling ribbon. I haven't decided yet. We'll see and yeah you guys so let's go make this happen Alrighty, guys I am ready to blow all of my balloons I am blowing balloons color by color I am not mixing my colors I want to try to create something I have this image in my mind so hopefully everything's gonna work out so I am taking my balloons two balloons at the same time blowing them at the same time to blow these to the same size as possible then as soon as I'm done blowing my balloons I am pressing them against the floor to give them more rounder shape and literally tying these two balloons together into pairs and later we're gonna make these pairs into quads so keep blowing keep pairing don't mix the colors unless you want to try something different go ahead and mix it so let's go that's all i had in this caribbean blue so what i'm doing is instead of blowing all of the balloons in different colors i want to work one color at a time so i'm taking two pairs and i am interwining them together to create quads like these i'm gonna flatten them a little bit later but that's what i'm doing with all of these caribbean blue let's go So let's start constructing our balloon arch. So I want to start with green. Where's my green? I am flattening my green quad like this to make sure it's flat on the floor. Taking my fishing line, I am using 30 pound uh, fishing line or 20. Let me see. Hold on. This is a 20 pound fishing line. I am tying my fishing line to my first flat quad. You might hear some noise because it's early in the morning and the kids are up. <laughs> Anyways, going with 
this Caribbean blue flattening again, putting it right on top of my first quad, taking my fishing line and wrapping around one of the balloons two times, for example. I don't know, two will be fine. Moving on to yellow, again, flattening our quad and putting right on top. Fishing line around my balloon. And next, it's gonna be this coral color, flattening right on top of my yellow. Fishing line around the balloon a couple of times. And red color, flattening again my quad and right on top of my coral color and wrapping my fishing line around my red balloon. That's basically all you need to do to construct this balloon arch. Now let's go to our green, Caribbean, yellow, coral, and red again. And we're gonna build this into like colors like this. So let's go. Secure your balloon garland. Cut a long piece of fishing line. Hold it with one hand. With your other hand, take the tail and wrap around one of the balloons. Now you created this loop over here. Take the tail and feed it through the loop. Pull on your tail. And that way you're creating knots with your fishing line. Do that a couple or a few times to make sure. And our balloon garland is completely secured and balloons won't go anywhere. I am done constructing this column, now I need to arch it. So I'm taking this balloon column and literally arching it right on this wall over here next to my TV. And as I'm arching, I'm gonna lean this arch right against my TV and this wall over here. So let's go. anyways because I can't I will be sitting there and wondering is it gonna fall so I'll just secure it just to be sure more stability to your arch just take two balloons filled with water and tie at the very very bottom of your arch definitely not enough water right here but put more water in Here is what I have for you guys today. This is my bright, summery, fun looking balloon arch. This was not as time consuming as I thought it would be. If I would compare this arch making process to my organic balloon garlands, then it took me no time at all. It took me about an hour to inflate all the balloons and construct this whole thing when my organic balloon garlands can take me from two to six hours, sometimes even longer, depends on what I do. I constructed this whole thing with my fishing line. You can use curling ribbon, twine, whatever you use to constructing your garlands and arches. I used 130 balloons for this arch, five colors. Each color has 26 balloons. I suggest to put more water into your balloon base balloons right there at the bottom. Just inflate your balloon, deflate, and then fill it in with water water stretched balloon holds more water and it will give you a better base if you want to take your arch to another level you can also use greenery flowers tassels or anything you want i will link and list everything in the description under the video and some pictures will be there as well this is it you guys this is what i have for you today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with family and friends that's always helpful if you have any additional questions leave them in the comment section below and i will try to help you out to
to the best of my abilities. If you're new here, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button down below for more videos. And I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye.